Pie Renovators. Here is the delicious buttermilk pie that you guys have been waiting for. Enjoy. Okay guys, like I said, I'm making a pie to put in the previous shells that you saw me make, homemade pie shells or pie crust. So I'm gonna make a buttermilk pie and these are the ingredients. First, we're gonna need a cup of buttermilk, any kind of your choice. If you can find the Bulgarian buttermilk, that will be wonderful. I've tried it all kind of ways and I do find that more tasty. We're gonna use half a cup of unsalted butter that's melted but cooled. One and a half cups of sugar, three eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, three tablespoons of flour. I use all purpose flour, one eighth teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. I put all the dry ingredients over here. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take the one and a half cups of sugar, place it in the mixing bowl, and incorporate all three eggs separately until they are mixed well. So now we will just finish the recipe by adding the remainder of the ingredients. So let me give you a little story time. Last summer I came to visit my mom and she cooks every day. So this particular Sunday for dinner, she brought this pie out and I was like, what is that? She said, this is buttermilk pie. It was so delicious. I was like, Mom, I have to have that recipe. She did give me the recipe, but she couldn't give me the exact measurements. So I ended up finding the recipe on Pinterest with everything that she had mentioned. And this is how the buttermilk pie came about. So basically, this is all you do. You mix all the ingredients and that's it. How easy is that? Now we're going to take this mixture and place it in the homemade pie shells that we did in the previous video. When I made this recipe with store-bought pie crust, I was able to get two pies out of it. Unfortunately, with my own pie dish, it only yields one pie for me. So I will be making this recipe again for my second pie. Now I'm going to bake the pie at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Then I will reduce the heat to 350 degrees and continue to bake the pie for an additional 40 to 45 minutes. 